All right, in this video we're continuing with coordinate geometry. We are looking at uh, writing equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. This is day two in your notes. And let's take a look at example C. We want to write and graph uh, the equation of the line that's perpendicular to the line y equals one-third x plus two and passes through the point negative three, four. So since we know that the line is perpendicular, then we know that our new slope has to be the opposite, so it's going to be negative, and the reciprocal, the reciprocal of one-third, is three. So remember, anytime you're doing perpendicular, it has to be both of those things. It has to be the opposite. So if it's positive, it's negative. If it's negative, it's positive. And it needs to be the, the reciprocal. All right, so then we've got y equals mx plus b. So the value of x they give me is negative 3. The value of y they give me is 4. We figured out that our slope is negative 3. Let's go ahead and substitute everything in so we can solve for our b, our y-intercept. So I have 4 is equal to negative 3 times negative 3. So just coincidence that the x value they give us and the slope are both negative 3 plus b. So I have 4 is equal to 9 plus b. I'll subtract 9 from both sides and I get that my y-intercept is negative 5. So now that I have my y-intercept I can go ahead and write my equation. So y is equal to negative 3x. Don't forget that x. That seems to be a common mistake. Minus 5. And again, since these are nice numbers, I'm going to go ahead and graph the y-intercept at negative 5. And then use my slope to locate two other points. So I'm going to go up 3, 1, 2, 3. And since I went up and it's a negative slope, now I need to go a negative direction. So I'm going to go negative 3. So I went positive 3, negative 1 for my slope. Let's do that one more time. 1, 2, 3, and to the left, 1. Here's my three points. We'll draw a line through them. ID cards are really good for making these lines uh, nice and straight. And then we'll put arrows on the end to indicate that it goes on forever. All right, so very similar to the previous video, we just needed to find the opposite reciprocal of the given slope so that we could find the line perpendicular to the original line. All right, as usual, make sure you write down your questions and uh, get help if you need it, and we'll see you next time.